All right, I'm back. Just finished The Impossible Burger by uh, The Impossible Whopper by BK, Burger King. And I actually really enjoyed it. It wasn't bad at all. I think after, you know, going through the sandwich a little bit, there is a slight difference, I mean, between real beef, but it's very, very close. So, I, I would say for the young kids and people just wanting to get a little bit more healthier, um, you know, it is a great alternative, uh, I guess, in the fast food industry besides just chicken and, and uh, you know, but I will say I'm a big fan of... Uh, uh, I've gotten some ground ground sirloin and Angus beef and stuff and patty it up. I, I don't do it often, but once in a while, I, I got to have beef. But what I, I've been doing is I've been throwing it in the air fryer. And the air fryer, I think, helps take a lot of that grease out. Because when I empty it, the reservoir out after each time, uh, I mean, there's a lot there. I mean, I... Nothing against George Foreman, but I think this air fryer just just really just is kick butt. Just kick butt. But uh, going back to the uh, the Impossible Burger, great. Um, I, I am a fan. And if there is a restaurant uh, that's selling it, I know that... Uh, I'm trying to think. I think there is... Uh, a place up in Wheaton um, that carries it and maybe Sky Deck might carry it in Rochelle um, and I, I also want to say possibly the Boulevard uh, here in Sterling Rock Falls I think they carry it but I, I think I will go for that as an alternative as long as it's dressed up I gotta have my tomatoes gotta have my my mayo and lettuce um, and pickles, um, but yeah, I, I would say, hey, it's a, it's a thumbs up, uh, anyway, so this is Lone Scout GLT, uh, giving, uh, two thumbs up on this Impossible Burger, and, uh, looking forward to trying it again, all right, guys, everyone, the Scout out.